Last of the Admins. Redeem Ein. Ein. Cool name. Still need a haircut though. You don't give up, do you? I'll make you atone for forting our Shadow Pokemon Caper. Don't know why you had to capitalize that. Okay, right on Mantine. Let's see what you're trying to do there. You want me to aim my electric attacks at your Mantine, but it's going to hit your right on. Your plan's not going to work because I have no electric attacks. Uh, what we can do, we can toxic that Mantine though, and then bubble beam the right on. Oh, thank you, Mantine. You just aided me by using Rain Dance. You've now defeated your teammate. So I think this guy, he likes to use Rain Dance and Thunder. Completely contrary to me, who uses Sunny Day and Solar Beam. So we're like opposites. So I feel like I have a point to prove, even though I'm not using my Sun Beam. There's a Manek trick. I feel like I kind of need Bug Eye out here to assist. I have nothing that is super effective against Mantine, I don't think. That's crazy. I don't have a rock attack or anything like that. Alright. Um, so what's the strategy here? I'm just trying to think of one. Right, Octagon, you fall to that Manectric. I guess you can return. Is Shadow Ball... I'm going to use Shadow Ball. Just because it's not contact move. I don't think it is. Which means that you won't get paralyzed by static, which is super annoying. Okay, you're going for an X speed. Do you really need that? Manitric is fast and Mantine is in the rain. Singing in it, probably. Whatever, we'll just use Bug Eye. And hopefully that Mantine does not have Ice Beam because that would be a very sour moment. Let's see how much this does though. Uh, lower its special D and I'll feel better. Yeah. And Manitric. Oh yeah, he used his X items on them. So I guess naturally we're going to use Earthquake. Uh, which means Dunny Boy should probably get out of there. To Blueberry. And then we'll get the Earthquake off. Full Restore! Well, that puts the Scaper, Scarper on my plans. Is that a sense? I just made it one. If it's not one, make it one. Make it so. A predictable Thunder right there. And that's going for Blueberry, because Bug Eye is immune! Wow, that did exactly half my health. And our minute trick is going to faint. Beautiful. And we might want to get rid of this rain and use the wonderful sun instead. I really need Thunderbolt, don't I? It's a bit late for that now, I think. Gyarados? Right. We are getting the sun up. Unless you faint, which you might do. But we're going to attempt to get the sun up. And both these guys are water flying types. So, what the heck can you do, Bug Eye? Right, Gyarados, Mantine, I don't know what it can really do yet. We're just going to breathe all over that. Oh, okay, it can confuse you. That's pain in the rear. He went for Bug Eye. Which is good because I want Blue Reed to get the attack off. Yes! No more rain for you, sir. We might want to put it to sleep also. Let's see what this does. Nothing! You hit yourself. What is that, Gyarados? No, does it no Dragon Dance? No, it's going for a Hydro Pump. Which does nothing, okay. So I'm going to put that Mantine to sleep to prevent the rain from resurfacing, and then Bug Eye, you're going to switch. What do we even use here? Octagon? Dunny Boy? Bring out Dunny Boy again. I don't know, you can take hits and you can get some Toxic off. Right, please hit with this Sleep Blueberry. That would be super swell if you did that. Please? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, this Gyarados might know an Ice Attack. But I would imagine it would have tried using it already. But it just went for a Hydro Pump. It might also know Rain Dance, of course. In fact, that's a very likely scenario. Yeah, I thought so. It's fine, because set set out the sun again. That's fine by me. 
then in the meantime... Do we toxic the Gyarados? Let's toxic the Gyarados. Damn it, I want it to be sunny! You got It's so pessimistic, wanting rainy weather constantly. Alright, this is the stool part. Oh, Earthquake, hello! Well, this is only going to hit Dunny Boy. It shouldn't do too much. Yeah, that's fine. You know, Earthquakes, we can take those, apparently. Can't take Earthquakes. Okay, that Gaddis is poisoned. I don't know how much use we'd need to do that, but we'll see. And since Mantine's asleep... Oh, actually, I don't know. What do we want to focus on? How about we go Harzies? No, actually, we need to go for the Gyarados because it'll set up the rain again, won't it? Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll return. If this KOs it, which I don't think it will. Then return and we'll hit whatever comes in. No, I don't think it would. In fact, that did a lot less than I was hoping. And... Raynard, yay! It's the Battle of Weather. The sun will prevail. Ah, not if you keep doing that, though. Stop. Stop doing that. Like, come on, Donny boy, we need a good strong hit here. And... Yeah, that'll do. It's poisoned. So it should do enough? Come on, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get that flailing dragon out here. He still has one other Pokemon as well. Not even seen it yet. And it is a Crobat. That is not what I really wanted to see. Why do you have one of these? Um, 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 um. All right, Blueberry, you are not going to do well against that Crobat. Bug Eye can take a poison attack. And Dunny Boy, toxic that Mantine once again. I might go for a Hydro Pump or some shenanigans like that. Oh, come on, nope, it's going for a darn Confuse Ray. Yeah. Come on, Dunny Boy, get the hit off anyway, please. Those Crobat's gonna go first, which also knows Confuse Ray. Why would you attack the same Pokemon? That's amusing. That will work somehow. He has a lot of flying types. And that completely cripples my earthquaking strategies. Right, come on, Bio, we need you to do some damage to something. Let's just focus on the Crobat, I suppose. Maybe if we hit it super hard twice. If you guys can even get hits in, it's going to be interesting to see if you can. Come on, bug eye. Okay, we've got a dragon breath off. This is good. This is good. This is something. Something is happening. Something is indeed happening. And ah, don't do that, man. Whoa, that was an awesome animation. I don't know why he needed to barrel roll to bite, but okay. Wow! And Dunny Boy, despite being confused and hit with a flinch move, manages to break through? That is the exact dedication and spirit I like on my teams. Good job, Dunny Boy. Uh, you've not got much health, though. We're going to still go for that Crobat. Hey! You can't do Toxic! That's my plan! Ah. So there's two admins that just spam confusion. That kind of bugs me. Like, bug eye. Right, one of you needs to land a hit, and then we can get that Crobat out of here. If not, then I don't know what we're going to do. Go for Bug Eye, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it's gone for Dunny Boy. Okay, you need to break out of confusion. You don't do that. Come on. Oh, Dunny Boy, I don't need this. Rain is still falling, but it doesn't seem to be affecting anything at the moment. Right, we need to switch. Um, Dragon Breath? We need to switch to something fast that can take down Crobat. I don't have anything to do that. I think Octagon is our best bet though. It has good moves. It can hit for at least neutral on both of these guys. So it should be okay. Twister? Alright. Was that a film? Pretty bad one as, as that. <laughs> Oh, it, it's both Pokemon for very minimal damage. you think a Twister would do more damage, but okay. Oh, and it flinches? I did not know it did that. Flinching is the least thing that you would do, I suppose. Alright. 
rain has stopped, so Mantine is going to waste its turn using Rain Dance. Is this the chance, guys? Dragon Breath? Cro we need to get that Crobat out of here. There's no question. And an Ice Beam. Yes, you have confusion! Bug Eye! Come on! Breathe all over that bat. Get out of here. Now it's just the Mantine. It's still going to be annoying to deal with. But we're at least equipped now. Yeah, and as predicted, he summons the rain. Alright, let's see how much Ice Beam does. Probably not a lot because this thing is very special defensive. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Right, being a special defensive, we need a physical attacker. Your only physical move, Bug Eye, is Steel Wing. And that is no good in this scenario, so you, we need a physical attacker. Oh, Bruce Chan is, but he's weak. And Dunny Boy is, but he's low on... Oh, man. Blueberry. We are getting the sun back up. I feel like I have a point to prove of that. Come on, Blueberry. What does this Mantine use? It's used Rain Dance, Toxic and Confuse Ray, and Twister. So its only damaging attack is Twister. So it's not really a threat at all. Which is fine by me. If we get a freeze off, that'd be even better. Well, let's get this darn sun up. If we can. If we can break out this confusion. Sunny day! Of course he's going to confuse Octagon. She, sorry. It's a female Mantine, of course. And Octagon, you're like sort of... A distant relative of his Mantine. Remoraid love the Mantine. Come on, Octagon, break through. Really? None of you broke through. That's a pain. Alright, okay. We'll just forget that that turn happened and try again. Come on, man. Wow, I mashed the A button then. Oh, and now you're trying to flinch as well? You can't have two people both with annoying strategies. I don't try and flinch you. He's confused. And he, oh, come on, man. How do you even hurt yourself with those things? It's not possible. Come on, Octagon. you got to be kidding me. Break out of confusion, guys. You guys don't know where you are at the moment. We'll try that again. And that's if you manage to get through the flinch as well. I don't know which has priority, flinch or confusion. Come on, come on. At least break out of confusion. Oh wow, Blueberry, you're a clutch today. Come on, Octagon. The fate of Middle Earth is in your hands. Okay, you at least got an attack off. This is an improvement on previous scenarios. Come on, get the freeze. Come on. They've been getting all the hacks this whole time. Yes, it actually did. It worked. You just have to say it. You know, that Mantine is frozen in midair. I would love that animation to just have the Mantine fall to the ground and smash into a bajillion pieces. We're setting the sun up. It serves no purpose now, but I just want to prove that the sun is the way forward. Theoretically, though, that would unfreeze the Mantine. <laughs> but this is Pokemon. Nothing makes sense in Pokemon. And Octagon use Ice Beam. I'd kind of like to have Solar Beam did to death, but can't have everything. Whew! That Mantine was annoying. I was briefly considering using a Mantine on my team, actually. But I'm glad I picked Octagon. It seems to have been the correct choice. Awesome! What unbelievable power. You might even say, it's over 9,000 overused joke. Yay. Alright, so that's four admins out of four. But there's one more round of the Colosseum. Yes, we battle fabulously. Uh, just 18,000. TMO2. That might be Dragon Claw, but we'll get an email first. Yeah, I remember this time. And then we'll check what that TM is. Yep, Deep King. It's a rumor that Deep King has entered the knockout tourney at the Deep Colosseum. Well, that makes sense. If he's called the Deep King, I'd kind of hope that he would. Otherwise, I've been doing this for no reason. You've got to enter too. And Sharp His Highness. Sharp His Highness? Oh, okay, because he's a king. Alright. I got you. And here's Dragon Claw. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming I can teach this to Bug Eye. Okay, nothing else can learn it. 
But is Dragon Claw better than Dragon Breath? We'll find out. 60, 80. It is! You're getting Dragon Claw. We finally cured your back breath, bug eye. It's almost the end of the game, but, you know, now you can actually do it as an actual attack. Okay. So, Deep King. I don't know what he has. We're going to put Bruce Chan alongside... Actually, no. We're going to gonna do the whole Earthquake strategy, just so we can breeze through the other battles quicker. Because I just want to get to him. I'm eager, man. And we can't use Blueberry first. I want to save Blueberry for later in a battle when he uses Shadow Shuckle. So here we go, guys. I'll see you at the Deep King. Here we are, guys. This time, the word final does actually mean final. It's the final final. The fifth and final final. So here is the Deep King. He looks like a jerk. You're challenging me. You don't know what you're in for. I have purple sunglasses for some reason. I don't know why you'd even need them down here. Oh, and his Pokemon are high level. 69, 68, and that is a Shedinja. Thankfully, I'm very equipped to deal with that. One way or the other. So, hmm. I think what I want to do to start off with... Let's get the whole Earthquake thing going. This will not hurt. The Sableye. No, it, it will hurt the Sableye. That's the only thing it's going to hit. It won't hurt the Shedinja. But, we may as well get off the free Earthquake. That doesn't hurt your teammate. Can't go wrong with a bit of that. And yes, you avoided damage of Wonder Guard. Lovely. And now, uh, the thing is here, Bug Eye... Is the only thing that can hit the Shedinja. And also the only thing I have out at the moment that can hit the Sableye. So, hmm... What does one do here? If this guy use Confuse Ray... I think Bruce Chan, you may have to be swapped out for... Dunny Boy, let's go for Dunny Boy, because these guys are ghost types. So if they try, if they try something, they're going down. And really, you use the full stall. You jerk face. I think I did attack that though, so... Hey! Right about the saber eye in terms of damage. Oh, bug eye, classic bug eye. This guy does not have the epic admin music either. It's just regular old final battle music. But you'd think for the deep king, it could be a bit more than that. But hey ho. Ah, okay, so it does have shadow ball. That's a bit bleh. Uh, but so do I. So we're gonna defeat that shit ninja if we can get a hit off before it does. Bug eye, come on, man. Get your act together. My team is so clumsy. Yeah, down goes Shedinja. Oh, yeah, a critical hit. Like, you needed to do that with a Shedinja. Okay, then. Oh, sorry, man. I've always wanted to try and use a Shedinja, like, properly. But we just gave up on it. Holy, that thing's level 70. Okay. Things got serious all of a sudden. And that stabilizes this guy. Keep using Confuse Ray. I have a feeling like King Geno's a dragon attack. Is why he sent it out. But I'm going to risk it. We're going to go for it. And we're going to Toxic the Kindred too. Three times in a row. Surely not. That's what I thought. And we've got a critical hit. No, not critical hit. Super effective Dragon Claw off. Ice Beam? Okay. Or it could have Ice Beam. I should have just used Return. Why didn't I do that? Oh, never mind. I'm sorry, Bug Eye. Okay, we're five apiece now. And if it has Ice Beam... Octagon? Yes, use Octagon. This guy's team is really strong, man. The Kingdra is the most threatening in terms of damage. The Sableye is only threatening in terms of its annoying Confuse Rays. So, it's a tough one. Yeah, I should have just used Return on that thing. Um... Suppose I'll do that now, in that case. Okay, you can use Faint Attack if you want. Yeah, yeah that didn't do too much damage. So, this ad is going to work. We're going to... I guess use Bubble Beam on Sableye. It's the best thing we can do. And then return on Kingdra. Oh, you know Attract. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, you went for Dunny Boy though. That's good. Ish, I guess. Let's see how much this does. Ooh, okay, that's good. That's good. I like that. 
Could be better, but could be a lot worse. Danny boy's in love with Kingdra. It's not going to work out, Danny boy. I ain't going to fall for you again, man, said Donny boy, as he viciously struck down the Kingdra. I suppose, oh, it's the female attacking the male, you know. That's fine, apparently. Okay, the giraffe rig. Alright, good for you, Dunny boy. Standing up for what you believe in. Okay, how how's this going to work? Um, I guess you can bubble beam and return again. Yeah, we'll do that. That is not good. How does a giraffe even fire off a thunderbolt? I would like to know that. That's cool. The save lies down. Okay, we're doing much better than I thought we were going to. Oh god! The migraines, man! The migraines! Okay, so you have one more Pokémon and then your Shadow Shuffle. Oh, thank goodness it's not a Shadow Skarmory. That was a bad time for everyone involved. <laughs> Alright! So! I think we want to focus on that Giraffe Rig. Because that Skarmory won't no fly. Oh yeah, no Thunderbolt. Forgot about that small factoid. Ah, uh, hold on, Octagon. Come on, get a hit off. Oh, well, you weren't confused. But if Dunnyboy got a hit off too, that'd be super nice. Okay, you did half. Come on, Dunny Boy. It's all down to you. Steel Wing. Holy, that did more than I thought it was going to. Yes, out of confusion. Now, please KO this thing. Yay, Dunny Boy. Beating down on everyone today. Right, so here's the Shadow Pokemon. Now the good thing about this one is that it's very defensive. So I can attack it no problem. Here it is. But of course first we have to put it to sleep. So, how about you Bubble Beam Skarmory? We're just going to attack the Shuckle. Use Return. See how much it does. It'll be a very, very small whittling down. Ooh, okay, that's good too. Drill Peck? I act with such surprise at every attack. Oh, okay, I guess you can't return it. Oh, that sucks a lot. Because you are what I wanted to use to whittle down the shuckle. Okay, change of plan. We're going to use Blueberry and put it to sleep that way. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. I have nothing else that can even... Okay, Shadow Rush. Ah. I wonder if it has an ability to swap its things around. I hope not. Okay, get a Skarmory out here, and then we can focus on the Shuffle. Full Restore? Come on, man. At least you wasted a turn. Now, I wonder... I don't know what Shuffle's catch rate is. We're about to find out. Blueberry, I don't think you're the Pokemon for the job here. You used to not hit much, but now you hit very much, so... Okay. Blah... Alright, one more bubble beam, that thing's gone. Tempted to revive Dunny Boy. It might be a wise choice. We'll see though. We have three revives, that's plenty. It's not like I use them these days. Well, what else could I weaken it with? I don't think there is anything. I think Dunny Boy's the best bet. Okay. We got a bubble beam off. Good, 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 good. Alright, good stuff. It's just me and you, Shuckle. It's just me and you. And it's still asleep. So, who do I want to switch out, I guess? Octagon, you're of no further use. Dunny Boy it is. Uh, and with your turn, I'm just going to throw a ball at it. We'll start with the standard Ultra Balls. And hopefully this thing doesn't take too long. Getting intense here. Yes, first time! Awesome! Wow! That went better than I could ever have expected. Good job, guys. I see. You are skilled. And I am wearing ridiculous makeup. Hooray! We got the shuckle, guys! One more Shadow Pokemon to go. 
Yes, we're the champion. As usual. Only 9,000? No DMs? What well, is this rubbish? Alright. So, what happens now, you may ask? Well, I will tell you guys as soon as I get an email telling me where to go. There's the email. I knew it would come eventually. But what does it say? What's with you, Dash the Athlete? I'm Dash from Fina. I'm just an ordinary citizen who happens to run around a town fountain. So what gives you the right to have your Pokemon attack me? You don't deserve any respect as a trainer. Shame on you. Wait, what the heck are you talking about? I already know what they're talking about, but what the heck is going on, you may ask. Well, hopefully, the television will explain everything. And here's another email. And I'm assuming this one says very similar things. I analyzed the Shadow Pokemon list and discussed them the very last one. The vast Shadow Pokemon was Togetic. That completes the analysis of the data ROM we provided. So, Togetic is the only darn thing left. But where do you get that, we may ask? It's time to wait for another email. There's another email. Man, I'm getting spammed now. Get these spam messages. Who is this? It's been in the under. Nefashu, I caught you on film and an unbelievable scene is terrible and shocking. What's your problem? Are you attacking people with Shadow Togedick? I'm doing no such thing. <laughs> I'm being frame jobbed here, guys. Being frame jobbed. Another email. This isn't tedious at all. Watch TV. It's me, Net. Please watch TV now. Alright, that. That is the moment I was waiting for. So I suppose we better watch TV. Now I know there's a TV in the outskirts stand, and it's precisely where I'm going to go for the final battle. In the next episode. Oh yes, I'm being a jerk about it. But the next episode is going to be the final episode because that is the final battle in the game. Whew. Can't wait. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the final episode. Doodles.